necessary for them to understand. The mission to Mars is underway. So these activities are kind of highlighted. When he took over as Huasaco ISD superintendent, Dr. Ruben Alejandro has been adamant from the get-go about going to Mars as part of his 21st century vision. That concept is now happening at the Waslico Early Learning Foundation Academy or ELF Academy with three and four-year-old students. This spring semester, four local Head Start daycare centers are in collaboration with Waslico ISD for the project dubbed Waslico Independent School District Head Start Mission to Mars, Project ELF Discovery. We're very future ready. Uh, we, we believe in the future and we want to get kids ready for an unknown future. But even though the future is unknown, we can help author that future by preparing kids to be ready for that future and to be innovators. That way they can help create the different kinds of technologies that are going to make our future much better. Approximately 260 students are involved in the Mission to Mars six-week project. An agreement between the district and Head Start have WISD teachers giving instruction at the daycares. The objective is for all pupils to conduct problem-based learning activities while introducing them to science, technology, engineering, and math better known as STEM concepts. Right, um, the curriculum includes building a module rover from scratch, dubbed Mars Rover. Every student will be assigned a task or a job. Uh, each student will have a title. Uh, they will all be engineers. Uh, we'll have a, an electrical engineer, a mechanical engineer. We're going to have botanists because we're hoping to create a um, a module where uh, they'll be growing plants because that'll be part of uh, inhabiting Mars. Okay, we're going to learn the parts of our... According to research, 90% of the brain is developed by the age of five. With that said, WISD wants to lay a foundation where students get accustomed to school-ready skills at that age. This project enables the students to not only have fun, but also gain concepts of physics. To Mars, good job. The particular curriculum is a project-based learning curriculum, and it's designed to bring in the vocabulary that these students are going to need. Uh, also, it's designed so that they can begin to build that foundation so that they can continue to grow. So think about it. We're getting three and four-year-old kids that are being prepared for the kind of terminology, the kind of vocabulary, the kind of curriculum that upper-level kids are going to be using, uh, upper-level elementary, maybe even some middle school kids. But we want to start them as early as possible. The idea was first thought of by Peña along with ELF Academy teacher Janae Cárdenas. You confirm Both then reached former NASA engineer and project and manager for WISD, Heriberto Reynoso. So what you want to do is you want to press tear. If you recall, Reynoso is also working hand in hand with Westlaco ISD migrant uh, students in building a robot to clean the Arecibo Observatory uh, in Puerto Rico. I was approached um, to see if I can develop um, a rover that students can ride on top of and control via levers and I set out to then uh, thereafter develop it from scratch. Math that's necessary for them to understand the mission. Cardenas so wrote most of the curriculum kind of the and before the project got underway, all ELF Academy teachers were required to attend a few meetings with an explanation of how the curriculum was going to be executed. After months of talk and training, the Mission to Mars project finally got underway in the classroom. Up to this point, students have worked on activity-based projects, teaching them about the solar system, including the planets, asteroids, stars, and comets. All this is groundwork for when it's time to build the Mars rover. Nose cone. What does a nose cone start with? At April Segura's Head Start class, the students have learned about the planets using styrofoam balls, Where's the nose cone? built a telescope using foil paper, learned about safety procedures to incorporate safety issues while conducting experiments, and recently 
the students got their chance to see what it's like for a rocket to launch. They love it. They they love everything. And if I give them a day, a deadline, like on Friday, if we're good, we're going to be doing the rocket launch. We're going to be doing this. They every day they will remind me, teacher, the rocket launcher, teacher, the planets, and they they love it. Good job. With SpaceX South Texas launch pad expected to operate at Boca Chica Beach soon, an economic boom is anticipated in South Texas. The location will include a rocket launch site, launch command center, and ground tracking station. Reynoso believes by the 2030s, rockets will be launched for a new frontier. All these contractors will want to um, develop launch pads in the vicinity um, because we are closer to the equator and we get more of a, a twist, not a twist, but a, a, we can use less fuel um, to reach outer space. And so we need to develop um, the future engineers. Instead of us importing engineers and scientists from across the nation, from MIT and Caltech, why not just um, harvest them and cultivate that in-house? That's exactly why the Mission to Mars project is so important to Westlaco ISD. The Mission to Mars project is expected to be introduced to all Westlaco ISD PK4 classes in the near future. The country is eager to learn and research about the Red Planet, and Westlaco ISD is hungry to be part of it. And by the looks of it, WISD is ahead of the game. Gravity is going to bring it back down. Good job, Kendra. We're anxious to see what kind of response we get from the students because this has never been done before. Things like this are going to ensure that Westlaco ISD becomes the cradle of innovation. This is where the best of the best are going to be in terms of our future leaders. Keep it here on KWS TV for further updates on this story.